but it makes me wanna cry. Sounds like grandmama telling you where you come from. Said it's kinda like laughter out of the mouths of your loved ones. Or catching up with an old friend, reminiscing on back when. It's like a summertime sprinkler. Street side with my ice cream cone. Said it sounds like a choir singing hymns, hallelujah. It's the voice of God. Hell, it can make a grown man cry. And I can hear it on the wind of an early morning. <laughs> when the fog is getting thick and the birds are chirping. Oh, it's just something I can't explain. <laughs> no. But it makes me want to cry And I can hear it in the hush of a midnight hour when All right, Brian Knight is back, baby. What is up? I'm back. Ah, oh, finally. You yeah. were gone way too long. I know. <laughs> Pretty much about a week. <laughs> it was amazing. What a trip, though. What a trip. We've missed you dearly. Thank you. I missed I missed everything. I miss you. I miss uh, reading together studying there's like a little hole in my heart missing you know mm. same with us as well it wasn't the same having you gone empty i, I want yeah sad oh. you know look, i'm glad you went because you were out there with your family in hawaii and you, you know you got off the grid mm -hmm. you shut everything down and you and the lord you know got some quiet time together you and your family that's an amazing thing brian yeah, it was. It was a great opportunity. I um, look, and we did. We did. We spent some time with the Lord, and we we just, the it was just majestic. And every the cool thing is, you know, every my whole family it, it loves Jesus. They love the Bible. They love God, and so we just continue to thank Him because it is so beautiful there. You know, mm -hmm. it is just so magnificent. And you're like, I mean, there's trees over there, John, with with tiger skin, like different colored bark. You know, and just like you know, over there on the road to Hana and stuff, it's just phenomenal. What a, what a place! So thank you, thank you for saying that. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I'm glad you had a great time, and but it, it, selfishly, I'm glad you're back. Selfishly, I'm yeah. glad you're back. We just we love you and we miss you, and just having you, you know, absent from the team page and the Zoom sessions and uh, the Bible study podcast. Just you know, it's been weird for me just because. You know, that's the longest we've been. Mm -hmm. you know, About a week, uh, yeah. Being away from the Bible study. and um, it, I'm not going to lie. Like, it was sad. I really struggled with it. You know, I, it was like, man, there's kind of, there's something missing in my life. Yeah. You know, there's an emptiness, uh, emptiness there. So um, glad you're back to continue the journey. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be back. I feel I felt the same way. It's like uh, this important. It's a mission. It's not only a journey for us, but it's a mission, you know, to complete mm. and continue. I so, God is good though. But he, yeah, he how 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 I got over there is just amazing. And I got home and and um, I can't tell you how amazing it was. I needed it. Mm. I needed it. So. The water's beautiful. The fish are cool. We've... Well, we all need that turnoff time every once in a while. Mm -hmm. It's healthy. It's healthy. And I'm going back April next year. I'm doing there a I'm go. doing a wedding. Oh wow! So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna marry I'm gonna marry um, some people, and so yeah. So then I'm gonna get to go play golf for a couple of days. It's gonna be great. There you go. There you go. And I'm actually gonna be there in three weeks. Man, why on the mind? <laughs> or... That's well, awesome. So. Look, it's the it's the destination for sure. Look, I I, I looked up tick, uh, flights are only like five fifty round trip right now for for uh, April. Oh, very cheap. Go. Yeah. So, anyway, that's fantastic. Um, you know, it's been tough because when you left, Brian, you know, we we got close. We got yeah. close, but are we got close to finishing Job? And we're only a few chapters away, and it's like, oh man, I gotta wait a full week. Sorry. You know, I know it's your fault. It's like, you know, we we put a lot of work in, and uh, 
it was just like, oh, I want to know. I want to know what happened so bad. And uh, but hey, you're we're we're back. Yeah, that's we're right. Back. Four more, four to go. I'm I'm willing to just sit down and hit it hit it all tonight. We can. We now we did talk about how, uh, getting on for the Bible the the men's group. Right. Yes, I actually asked everybody about that. So we could do six thirty in the morning, six in the morning, if you want. Well, what what did everybody say about that? Because I had a bunch of no's. Okay, I don't know. Let me. I'll check right now. Let's. We can get started, and I'll check. Okay, I know Cornell and uh, Corey. Yeah, get on the get on the group text okay. and let's. See. Yeah, I, I text everybody. Let's do it. Huh? Here's the countdown. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Six oh eight. Israel countdown. And uh, thank thank you everybody by the way for just joining us on on this journey. I can't tell you how many amazing people reach out to me on on Instagram on direct messages and Facebook messages and just random people that we've never met yeah. that are on this journey with us. You know, it's it's really you know, thank you because it's it's really it's it's, it's life changing. Absolutely. If you haven't reached out, reach out because we it's it makes uh it encourages us too because it's cool to see that other people are loving this and on the same journey with us. So reach out to us and say, hey, I love the journey, the journey to uh to Israel mm-hmm. and the journey uh in, in, through the Bible. It's, it's awesome. Hey, amen. Got to take that time machine, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby, the time machine. I love it. Well, everybody, open up their Bibles to chapter 39, We're right at the end here of Job. Uh, back in April of 2021, we started in Genesis 1-1, and now here we are. Mm-hmm. Um, we do read out of the New Living Translation, so either grab that Bible on your desk there or go to Google and pop it up. Of course, we have the King James next to us and the Hebrew ready to pull back uh brian do you want to pray it in since you've been gone and you're back and sure I feel like it's something you know you can do the honors here i'll do it well dear heavenly father we love you man thank you for a wonderful trip there and back safely no, no issues we thank you that you've uh you've led us on this wonderful path of studying your word every day as, as much as we can and thank you for that hunger for the word hunger to study and we just appreciate all the things you've done. We thank you so much for the people that are journeying with us through the Bible and continuing on to lap two, three, four, and however many laps until we hear that last trumpet sound and we're snatched away. <laughs> <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. I love that, Brian Nudge. That's right. It's coming. Do, 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 do. Man. So let me ask you a question on that. I know yeah. we got to get to reading, but if we don't get snatched up because we already passed away and went to heaven right Mm -hmm. you know let's just say that we both go tonight in our sleep which we hope is not the case yeah you know but at the same time it's going to be great to see the lord um are we going to be hearing the trumpets from heaven as we're gathering our stuff and loading up on the horses you know, I don't know. I think that we'll know it's happening. Look, I look. I, th- I honestly believe that heaven is not just a nebulous place. It is interactive. We we are. It's just like the earth. You know, our final destination is the earth, John. Heaven comes down. The On city Jerusalem. of Jerusalem. Yeah, the, the the city of Jerusalem in heaven. It's the new Jerusalem. It says comes down and lands. I'm a, on Israel. And that it will be the, the the center of all, and we're going to live on the earth, or this uh, maybe a larger earth, maybe a I don't know whatever it's going to look like, and uh, a new heaven and a new earth. Mm-hmm. And I assume the the galaxies will also be filled with with things that will who knows what we'll do. We we'll might we might populate those things somehow, or visit, or who knows? I mean, so. Yes, I think that heaven now is not just a place where we're floating around, you know, um, p- playing a harp. We are interactive. There's people there. We are God. We, he made us like him. I, dare I say, Jesus said this. We are like gods. We are little gods. We're not God, obviously. But he calls us 
little gods, just like him. We are just like him. He has all the power, and we're his sons and daughters. So we're he, we, we talk, we think, we do, we 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 stop, we do stuff. So yes, right, I right. think when it happens, John, I think what's going to happen is he's going to tap the father's going to look over and say, "Son, guess what? It's time. Blow that horn." And when he blows that horn, the spirit of God's going to boom, raise us up. There we are. There. Oh, exciting. Brian Knight's dropping knowledge bombs. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into it. The Lord's challenge continues. You want me to start it off? Go for it, please. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, chapter 39. Quote, do you know when the wild goats give birth? Have you watched as deer are born in the wild? Do you know how many months they carry their young? Are you aware of the time of their delivery? They crouch down to give birth to their young and deliver their offspring. Their young grow up in the open fields. Then they leave home and never return. Mm. Man, God's the greatest poet to ever live. He really, his story is perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Verse 5, who gives the wild donkey its freedom? <clears throat> I feel like we've read this. Yep, we have. Uh, who I unites it? I, I have placed did. it in the wilderness. Its home is, it's, is the wasteland. It hates the noise of the city. We have read this. I don't remember this. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I, the first paragraph. I'm like, ah. Huh. We read, so we read two? Maybe we read two. See, because it ends a young gulp. The it's young, gulp down blood where the, where there's a carcass. Well, is this the one where the birds cry out for the for God? Remember, we had a big discussion about that. Let's see here toward the end. Um. No. It talks about the hawk soaring. It spreads its wings. It commands the eagles. It lives in the cliffs. It makes a home on distant rock, crag, where, it's, where it hunts its prey. I don't think so. And we definitely have read what we've read so far, though. Why? Well, know that for a fact. Let's see. Um... I can look at the video. Well, we can let me. When we, I can read it again, read through it if you want quickly. No, I'll, I'll keep going. Yeah, and if we've read it before, I, we'd rather read it again than skip it. Of course, right? Because then we'd have to go back and read it anyways, right? Because we're not going to obviously skip a skip it a chapter, right? But let's continue. It's beautiful. It's yeah, beautiful. All right, continue. This is this is like the greatest poem ever written, right here. Yeah, it's God Almighty. Yeah. Um, who gives the wild donkey its freedom? Who unites its ropes? Oh, I'm sorry. Who untied its ropes? I have placed it in the wilderness. Its home is the wasteland. It hates the noise of the city and has no driver to shout at it. The mountains are its pasture land where it searches for every blade of grass. Mm. Will the wild ox consent to being tamed? Will it spend the night in your stall? Can you hitch a wild ox to a plow? Will it plow a field for you? Given its strength, can you trust it? Can you leave it? Uh, can you leave and trust the ox to do your work? Can you rely on it to bring home your grain and deliver it to your threshing floor? You want to take 13? The, uh, yeah, the ostrich flaps her wings grandly. But they are no match for the feathers of the stork. She lays her eggs on top of the earth, letting them be warmed in the dust. She doesn't worry that a foot might crush them or a wild animal might destroy them. She is harsh toward her young. And if they were not her own, she doesn't care if they die. Where God has deprived her of wisdom, I think you're right, John. He has given her no understanding. When she jumps, whenever she jumps up to run, she passes the swiftest horse with its rider. Have you given the horse its strength or clothed its neck with a flowing mane? Did you give it the ability to leap like a locust? Its majestic snorting is terrifying. It paws the, paws the earth and rejoices in its strength when it charges out to battle. 
It laughs at fear and is not afraid, and it does not run from the sword. The arrows rattle against it, and the spear and javelin flash. It paws the ground fiercely and rushes forward into battle when the ram's horn blows. It snorts at the sound of the horn. It senses the battle in the distance. It quivers at the captain's command and the noise of battle. It is your wisdom that makes the hawk soar and spread its wings toward the south. It is at your command that the eagle rises. Is it at your command that the eagle rises to the heights to make its nest? It lives on the cliffs, making its home on a distant rocky crag. From there it hunts its prey, keeping watch with piercing eyes. Its young gulp down blood. Where there's a carcass, there you'll find it. Yeah, uh, that's beautiful. That whole yeah, God is amazing. Look at that. He is amazing, isn't he? A poet. You know, we give King David coming up here. Um, as I hear, as I hear, I don't know yet because I haven't read it yet, but I hear King David is quite the poet. But uh, he is king. But King God of all all of the heavens and the earth is the master poet, isn't he? <laughs> Come on, baby. Yes, he is. You're right. It isn't interesting that song I haven't played in a long time. In the intro of just uh, it's called "The Voice of God" by Dante. Mm. Uh, bow there oh that's cool he selected it right like the sound of a newborn, baby and it's all just about you know everything is is of god you know Right. Yeah, we definitely read that, but it's okay. Because um, I remember we had that great discussion as well with uh, uh, the horse there. Terrifying. Mm-hmm. You know, how the Lord's coming down on the horse next time and not a donkey and all oh, that. Yeah. But uh, hey, I'll read that chapter every day of my life. Right. It's amazing. It's God speaking. Yes. All right. Ver- uh, chapter 40. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. We 40, 41, and 42. Let's go, baby. I'll kick it off. You want to slam dunk it, Brian? Yeah, I'll do that. All right, verse 40. Then the Lord said to Job, verse 2, Do you still want to argue with the Almighty? You are God's critic, but do you have the answers? <laughs> oh, wow, that's interesting. I like that. We always want to know all the answers, but we never will. Um, right. There's some that we know. That's crucial. Yeah. Romans nine ten and Romans ten nine ten is one of them. Big one. But we don't know all. Job responds to the Lord. Verse three. Oh, here we go. Then Job replied to the Lord, "I am nothing. How could I ever find the answers? I will cover my mouth with my hand. I have said too much already. I have nothing more to say." <laughs> I feel like we've read that too, Brian. Did we? Yeah. Because yeah. remember that I was like, Maybe you're right. You. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, good response. I remember saying good response. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Because look at four. Put a ring in it, its nose and lead it away. You're right. We're on 41. Yeah, I was like, Joe, way to just hit the, hit the ground with your knees, lay your sword down. Yeah. And just take it on the chin and be like, God... I apologize. It's been a minute, so we're back. 41, I think you're right. Yeah, let me just go ahead and go back to 40 just real quick and read the end here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just to do a little recap for our listeners. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, the lotus plants to give shade. Okay, yeah, this is the Lord. Lord spitting flames, speaking speaking view, beautiful poetry. Um. And so, yes, yes, yes. Okay, 41. The Lord's challenge continues. Okay. All right. I'll I'll do the first down to 11. You want to slam dunk 12 and down? Perfect. Okay, here we go. Thanks, everybody, for rolling with us here. Yep. 